Hey everyone, in this video, we shall learn how to automate Linux file or directory backups to your S3 buckets. For the purpose of this video, we have created an S3 bucket named Mac Mahalawad, and we have an EC2 instance running, which has been given a role to access S3 on this AWS account. You may also grant access to your local Linux machine using AWS configure command and entering your IAM user credentials over there. Now, in order to do that, you must have AWS CLI package installed on your machine. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to create a directory called backup data and sync its contents on our S3 bucket. Let's go ahead. So I'm on the EC2 instance and I'm currently in the root directory. I will go ahead and create a directory called backup data. I will go inside the backup data and create some test files. And list them for you. I want to sync these files of AWS backup data directory on my S3 bucket. So I will use the command AWS S3 sync the path of my directory, which I want to backup. And then S3 colon slash slash name of my bucket. As you can see, all the three files have been uploaded on the S3 bucket. We will go ahead and refresh the contents of our S3 bucket in order to see if the files have been uploaded or not. As you can see, the files have been uploaded at 2210. Now, we are going to create a cron job in order to automate this process. We are going to copy this command and enter cron tab hyphen E and edit this file and enter the command over here. Now, before the command, we need to enter certain parameters in order to make sure when this command will get executed. Now, in order to do that, I have a website which is crontab.guru in which you can select your cron expression. So if I want my script to run at 1 a.m. every day, I'm going to use this. However, for the purpose of this video, we want the script to run every one minute. So we are going to use this and add it on our cron tab expression. We are going to save this file. And we are going to restart the cron D service. Now we are going to create some test files and see if they are getting uploaded every minute or not. So at 2214, all our five files should be here. And as you can see, the files D and E have been updated. I hope this has been informative. I would like to thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.